name is William Kamkwamba. I am from Malawi. When I was 14 years old, I found a book called Energy Source in my community library. At the time, we had no electricity in my home, and I was inspired by pictures of power-generating windmills in the book. I studied the pages closely and then built my own windmill out of scrap metal, bicycle part, and blue gum tree branches. It made enough electricity to power four light bulbs and two radios in my family's home. I returned to school and am now studying at the Africa Leadership Academy in Johannesburg, South Africa. After graduating, I want to build a windmill company to supply energy to people all across Africa. That book changed my life forever. Good books are fun and entertaining to read. They're filled with interesting stories and characters and information to enrich our lives. For children everywhere, being able to read a good book can make all the difference. The evolution of code over the past 50 years has been remarkable. By the early 80s, our organization had grown into a global operation. Canadians were donating tens of thousands of books to our depots from coast to coast and shipping them to more than 80 countries every year. In 1985, CODE received its first global recognition when UNESCO honored us for our work with a prestigious International Literacy Award. In the years that followed, CODE continued to grow and looked for innovative ways to ensure the organization's future. We established CODE Incorporated, a for-profit company that has grown into Canada's leading international logistics and procurement agency in the field of election supplies. Code Inc. promotes democracy by supplying items such as ballots, boxes, and voter registration systems for elections around the world, and then directs the profits to Code. In 1987, we started the Code Foundation as an endowment fund to manage and invest bequests and other planned gifts to our organization. At the same time, CODE joined forces with the International Book Bank to extend and diversify our book donations program. This complemented our growing focus of supporting local publishing initiatives in Africa and the Caribbean. CODE was now supporting the local production of books, magazines and newspapers in 26 languages around the world. We were working closely with local education organizations to support interactive learning environments and helped our partners to distribute relevant books to local libraries and schools at little or no cost. We worked with teachers and librarians to successfully promote reading and writing in real classroom settings and supported authors, illustrators, and publishers at every link in the book chain. I worked in the education sector in Tanzania for years. It was always a challenge to get children excited about learning. We had so few resources, so few books in languages the children spoke, so few stories they could relate to. Things changed when CODE came into the picture and developed the children's book project. This single-handedly created a publishing industry for children's books in Tanzania and we started to see stories about our own culture and history written in our own language of Kiswahili. Demand grew and so did opportunities for writers, illustrators and publishers. And now I run a successful publishing house with over 120 titles. Code was making an impact back home in Canada too. Since the mid-80s, Code's program Project Love has engaged Canadian students to act as global citizens by assembling kits of school supplies for students overseas while learning about recipient countries. Today, more than 75,000 youth participate in Project Love every year. Right now, more than one million children are learning to read and write with the help of more than two and a half million books in about 10,000 school and community libraries across Africa and the Caribbean because of code. At CODE, we know that literacy creates opportunities and that these opportunities improve lives. Our work nurtures literate environments, from the author through to the publisher, 
through to the librarian and the teacher, to the reader herself. Ce que je préfère, c'est aller à la bibliothèque de l'école pour lire à haute voix. Mon livre favori est Narimandi, l'histoire d'un taureau magique. J'aime l'histoire et les images et j'apprends de nouveaux mots français car ils sont écrits à côté des mots Wolof que je connais. La semaine passée, mon école a participé à un concours d'écriture et j'ai battu deux garçons d'une autre école. Je sais que je ferai encore mieux l'année prochaine. Belief in universal access to quality basic education as both a human need and a human right is our story. It's an international success story thanks to five decades of innovative hard work from countless individuals around the globe. We have learned a great deal since 1959. Over the next 50 years, we will continue to support the right of all children, every girl and boy in the world, to learn to read and write, and to attend school. We will continue to help create environments where the quality of education gives children a real chance. A chance to excel, to believe in themselves, to prove who they are and what they can do. CODE, celebrating 50 years of development through education. If you can learn to read and write, you can learn to do and be anything. That's the idea behind CODE. Learn more at codecan.org. Come on, come on now. Come on,